Well, somebody's got to be revolting. It might as well be me. Or is that rebellious? Rebellious. My wife says I'm revolting. Does that count? Okay. <clears throat> okay. God. It's going to be a hell of an evening, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Warmth morning found me dancing, prancing through the ever rotting moss. Sky thick, quickening cloud into come rain. High in skyway pouring sound down from still bare trees. But to find me now, uh, they would have, if could, to chase me in the life beneath the swallowing cliffs, scrumbling down the damp dirt slope and rock to fallen tree along curving, quick, clearly running streams, past silver glow of cans and shinily green wine bottles, with the single leaf that earth breath picked, kicked, down to meet me. That, that should probably never be read aloud because it's much better on the page. Oh well. Um, and this is called Rocket XM72. I, I pay attention. So I, so I stole that idea. No, no. I stole it from you. Uh, now this is actually called Highway to Another World. Early leaves shift on concrete in the afternoon sunshine breeze. This road, the highway to another world. Your breasts, of moment in the night and barely lessened consequence beneath your clothes, traveling the many roads that lead nowhere. And this is a true story. I used to run an inner city borders back in the early part of the century, and I actually saw this happen. It's called Lady in a White Business Suit. And uh, it's actually got an epigraph or an epigram, I can never remember which, which is uh, a poster I saw in the Long Beach Post Office back in 1970 when I was dry docked out of Southern California. And it said, listen, Christian, I was homeless, and you spoke to me of the spiritual shelter of the love of God. She was a lovely woman, not just in body, but in spirit. One of my favorites each day stopping for the journal, and a coffee, black please. How's your day? Thanks, and see you tomorrow. Happy, successful, well-dressed, light perfume, and then she was wearing the same outfit two, three days in a week, with shoes looking worn and a whiff of alcohol instead of Parisian citrus. Passing on the journal, Spending hours at a time in a chair in the cafe, drinking water, staring far, far outside the window at her old skyline. Finally, blushing when I brought her coffee, she said, I lost my damn job. After that, she came by once or twice more, stayed out on the sidewalk, caging money in cigarettes, sleeping in the park with one eye open through the summer, on into winter, when they found her asleep forever. Yeah, like I say, that was, that was hard to watch. And in honor of the Something cheerful. The immortal because Is this my moral?